Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Sometimes the sun spits out parts of its atmosphere towards us. Okay, why that happens is another question, but sometimes it does, we know that. And when it does, parts of its corona, uh, it contains magnetic fields. And when these magnetic fields come into contact with our Earth's magnetic field, our Earth also has a magnetic field, it alters the uh, geometry of our magnetic field. And our Earth's magnetic field, it protects us from charged particles from outer space. It does not allow these charged particles to come into our atmosphere. Now, when this, when, uh, you know, this coronal mass ejection hits the Earth's magnetic field, it alters the configuration, like I said. So this equilibrium configuration of charged particles, which was al always maintained, that is disturbed. So more charged particles enter the Earth's atmosphere from the poles. And so when that happens, they ionize molecules in the atmosphere. And those ionized molecules radiate. And those are what are these are. You can think of it as a super lightning. Is this affected due to the depletion of ozone? Is there, uh, do the lights become more prominent due to that? Best of my knowledge, no. This has got nothing to do with ozone there. Is it then the sun's magnetic field and the earth's magnetic fields kind of act as opposite poles and re repel each other so that the charged particles don't enter the earth's atmosphere like that? Earth's magnetic field is in equilibrium, okay. In equilibrium, it prevents, it prevents charged particles above a certain energy from entering the Earth's, uh, Earth's atmosphere. Okay, now we are in equilibrium. Now when a portion of the sun's corona comes towards the Earth, it doesn't happen all the time, sometimes. Okay, when this happens, then the magnetic field carried by that blob and the Earth's magnetic field, they interact. As a result, this equilibrium configuration of, of the Earth's magnetic field is altered. And when that happens, it lets a rain of extra charged particles in. And that does a lot of things, including these aurora, northern lights, all, all of these things. Sir, why do we see the northern lights? Okay, that's pretty much the same question as what I okay. answered. Uh, these aurora are called northern lights. And so these charged particles, they mostly come from the poles, uh, either the north pole or the south pole. Okay, so, uh, so this entire... Uh, phenomenon more prominent near the poles. That's why these are called northern lights. There, there are also southern lights near the south pole.